Hi, I'm Veronica. And I'm Liz. And this is the Charge of Bulletin Podcast. Let's see, what do we got for you guys today? We've got a few things on campus, um, mostly having to do with residential life. Right. Um, new RAs came in, so congratulations to everyone who got that. Um, <laughs> apparently, Soundview, when they went to do their room selection, people who tried to get in. Anyway, they a lot got of people in. tried to get in. A lot of people tried to get in, but those who got in are fine. But there's right. a lot of people who didn't get in. And they're extremely pissed because now they're not guaranteed housing. I heard at the USGA meeting that there's at least like a few hundred people who yeah. paid the deposit, but we don't have enough space, so what are you gonna do? Yeah. So they gotta do off cast um off campus housing, or like not like apartments and such, but like they're gonna have to buy their own apartment or something like that. So they were gonna they were thinking there's Talk. There's it's nothing solid yet, but okay. they want to do a sound new demonstration, is what they're calling it. What would that entail? In the end of April. I think it's going to sort of be like, almost not like a riot, but like almost like a protest. <laughs> a riot. Not, a, oh. not a riot, but like a protest. Okay. All right, a protest. So, kind of a little worried for about For sound that. new? I mean, it's really nice. Well, not for sound new, but for okay. like housing, but they're calling it the sound new demonstration because of what happened with the housing for sound new. Right. The sad thing is, is that, like, there's just not enough housing. Like, right. I feel bad for, like, res life and all those people who have to deal with all the angry people. Mm-hmm. No matter what you're going to do, there's always going to be, like, a handful of people who are going to be disappointed no matter what. Right. Like, did you get into Winchester? I did get into Winchester. Winchester Woo! 214. I'm excited. <laughs> um, yeah, a bunch of people I know are living in Winchester next year, so it's going to be interesting. Okay, <laughs> cool. It's going to be interesting. Um, Spring break's also coming up. Yeah. Tomorrow. Who's excited? Who's I'm excited. excited. I'm excited. You're going to Ireland. I'm going to Ireland. So lovely. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to Ireland. Also on campus, pretty big news. Um, someone who graduated last year had tuberculosis while they were a student at UMH. So we all got emails, and the email said, like, look forward to another email if you had, like, express contact with this person because you might also have tuberculosis. That's insane. It's really scary. So, I mean, I got the first email, and then I was, like, I was kind of feeling a little bit sick, like, I had a little cough, and for, like, until now, like, I'm still on edge, because I haven't gotten the second email. Mm. So now everyone's going to just overflow into health services. And well, health services pregnant. set up specific times so you could get TB testing, but have you, like, you've gotten a TB test. It's the worst one. It's when they put the bubble. Oh, yeah. I it's, did not like that. No. No. <laughs> so I didn't get tested, but it's actually, like... A little bit hard to get it. Like yeah. someone has to be expressly like, coughing on you for like an extended period of time. Oh, like you could only get in contact if we were like this all the time, like that. And I <laughs> don't think anyone's gonna be that. Well, close like to if anyone. it was your roommate or something, you'd have a chance. So they emailed. I think everyone who was in their classes, or who was their roommate, or maybe even lived like next door or something. Oh, okay. So I didn't get that email yet. But if you think you might have tuberculosis, you should contact health services and get a test. Mm-hmm. Be a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, national news. National news. Coney 2012, everyone. Um, I mean, it's a 30 minute long video. Right. That everyone's watching by mm-hmm. some organization called Invisible Children. Yeah. This organization has been around for years. Mm-hmm. Um, and no one knew about it until. This no one knew about Invisible Children? No one knew about Invisible no. Children. No one knew about Coney. Okay. Um, and there's not much a YouTube video can do. I mean, yes, it's going to raise awareness. Right. But even then, the organization only has so much money that they can put towards that. Right. And the rest goes towards more awareness and other events. And, like, I checked out their website to make sure they were legitimate because they're okay. not bad up by any sort of government office they are literally self-run so when i checked out their website it seemed a little sketchy like i they broke down their profits their revenues Mm -hmm. everything step by step by step and percentages step by step by step Mm -hmm. and it barely it really the way it broke down okay was really uneven like a lot of it was towards like bracelets necklaces like all the stuff they want so people know about it yeah, I know that it's fairly controversial right now because a lot of donations actually go to Invisible Children and, like, 
Apparently, a lot of their executive has really inflated salaries. Mm -hmm. It goes to other projects. So I think it's difficult for people to grasp, like, if you watch the video and you donate, all of your money is not going, like, maybe not even any of your money is going to right. awareness for Coney. And also, um, I mean, I haven't seen the video, so I can't comment in extensive, but from what I've read, actually today in the New York Times, there's a great article about it. Yep. Um, apparently, the movie makes it out to be, again, I haven't seen it, so I don't know, but there's, like, apparently 300,000 children soldiers when, in reality, he has maybe upwards of 75 people in his currently. Yeah. So it's been kind of since 2006, it's been on a... Downward curve. Yeah. But, I mean, I can't fault... I mean, I know a lot of people on Facebook are like, oh, don't support this, stuff like that. But, I mean, but you, overall, people are trying to do good. Right. And I think that's a great thing. It is. But, like, at the same time, it's like one video should change your opinion on this. If you're going to be supportive, mm -hmm. be supportive of everything. Not just because one video affected you. Like, I don't right. know, like, the mind, some people's minds are just so manipulative sometimes. <laughs> like, very susceptible to manipulation. Yeah. Sorry, not manipulative. And no, like, yeah, actually. I mean, they want to try him in international court, mm -hmm. in that in international criminal court, but to catch this man mm -hmm. would require killing those children. Right. Because they are his army. Yeah. So, I mean, either way, there's going to be controversy about the issue. Absolutely. Especially today, like, if you notice, like, people aren't as active as we were in, like, the 60s or something. It's, like, right. I heard a term, armchair activism, which I think, like, expresses this exactly. Like, <laughs> I'm going to like someone's status, and then they'll be changed. Yeah. But, I mean, there's a good message behind it. Mm -hmm. um, if it gets people involved in the world and, like, interested in, you know, internationalism and everything like that, then I'm all for it. So, yeah. props to people who want to make a difference. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Just that? get the both sides of the story. Always. Look into where your money's going to. Mm -hmm. Get your tax write off. And get your tax write off. Be responsible. That's it. Yeah. Just do every do if you're gonna do something, do it correctly. Absolutely. Because if you do it wrong, that just causes more problems that you don't want to deal with later. Right. So. Well, have a great spring break, everyone. We'll catch you in two weeks. Yeah. Wow. Try not to miss us too much. Bye. Bye.